everybody and welcome back to the Berkshire Pokemon channel and today we are going to be opening up some Rebel Clash. These are the three pack blisters. We have Dora Laugan and Rayquaza. I'm not sure if I'm saying that first one correct but we're going to start out with, uh, with him and we're going to see what we get. So these three pack blisters always come with a coin and a code card. So this one is a Espeon coin um, and then we have our door Dura Loudon, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Promo, and then we've got a one of each artwork or all of the of the starter. Um, oh, actually, no, this isn't Cinderace. That's Toxicity. So we've got a Toxicity, a Rillaboom, and an Inteleon. Um, I kind of like the Inteleon myself. Um, he's pretty cool. Although the the Rillaboom is kind of like to me, it's like a giant gorilla looking guy. Um, so you know. I don't know, that kind of gives me something to heart, I guess. Um, but here is the first guy, code card. One, two, three, four. We have a Darkness Energy, a Hatrum, Cursed Shovel, Phalanx, Honage, Impidimp, Magmar, Electabuzz, Scovit, a Reverse Foil, Binnacle, and a Obama Snow, Rare Non-Hollow. Now we go into our second pack here. And we've got one, two, three, four. We've got a Water Energy, a Twin Energy, a Phalanx, a Masquerade, a Skunky, a Grubbin, a Wingle, a Natu, a Barboach, a Reverse Foil Rare Galarian Berserker. Pulled the gold card of this already, if you haven't seen that video. And a Rare Toxicity. So uh, check that video out if you want to see me pull the uh, the gold version of the um, Galarian Berserker. Got a Grass Energy, uh, Kepsius Buck, Horror Energy, Palpitoad, Galarian Dakamora Maka, a Bunnelby, a Vulpix, Fan Phantom, a Galarian Farfetch, a Reverse Foil, Masquerade, and an Unpheasant Rare Non Hollow. So this first one was a dud. I'm actually disappointed. I hate when they do that. I think that if you're going to buy a set of packs like this, they should they they know what's inside these when they pack them. They know what's in there. They don't have, you know, they don't have to give you rainbow rares or anything, but like they should give you something. Um to have no to have no uh hits at all inside of it. That's just really disappointing. Um, and I think that's kind of unfair, too. I mean, I feel like, especially because the value of modern cards are not huge, you're, you're really just paying more money to get nothing than, you know, you, you should be. So now on this one, we've got another Espeon coin. And we've got another code card. And we have got a Rayquaza promo. So we'll put that guy up there. And then on this one, we've got an Inteleon, a Toxistry, and a Cinderace. Another code card for you guys. And one, two, three, four. We've got another Grass Energy, Medichan, Pokeball, Pelipper, Scyther, Nosepass, Wingull, Coughing, Bronzor, and 
SQ, uh, which is a reverse rare, and an Obama Snow rare non hollow. And we got one, two, three, four. We got a Water Energy, a Speed Energy, Metapod, Helioditlisk, Toxel, Litwick, Lotad, Clefairy, a Voltorb. Reverse Foil Palace Wine and a Probo Pass Rare Non Hollow. And we got one, two, three, four. And we got a Dark Energy, a Burning Scarf, NDD, Skyla, Coughing, Shinx, Galarian Mask, Appalin. A uh, Hate Nia, a Reverse Foil Pie Dove, and a Galarian Weezing Hollow. So you're telling me that out of six packs like that, that I just paid right there, that's $25, give or take. And I only get one Hollow. And these Hollows are not rare by any means. You can buy these for under a dollar. That really just... that. That's one of those things that irks me. That's one of them things that really gets my blood boiling. Is that, yeah, they don't have to give you great stuff in them, but they should at least give you one hit per, you know, per three pack. Because you know that there are even full arts and stuff like that that are not going to be very valuable because it's just, it's going to go by how they're, how playable, playable they are. And, you know, and you don't, you know, we're not expecting gold cards or whatever, but like, like, for example, here's an example. I pulled a duplicate recently of a Ninetales V. This card probably only worth a couple bucks. I don't know what the value is off the top of my head, but a lot of these are only worth two, three, four dollars max. And you're paying twelve, I think they're twelve ninety nine for uh for three packs in this thing with a promo. And the promos you can usually buy for a dollar or two after they come out on Troll and Toad or whatever. So, like, you're really, you know, you're really overpaying because you're, at that rate, at, at, at that price, you're paying more for the packs to get the promo that's not really going to be worth anything extremely crazy. And at the same time, you pull nothing out of it. Like, I don't know. I feel like the Elite Trainer boxes are in that same realm. But now I'm just getting onto a rant here. Um, so I'm just going to let you guys go. And enjoy the rest of your day, evening, wherever you you know you might be. So until next time, guys, please give me any comments down below. And uh, once again, this is Birch Pokemon. Thanks, thank you guys for all the support. Love love reading the comments. I try to reply as much as I can. And until next time, guys, take care, stay safe. We hope to see you again soon. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.